The beaver may be almost extinct in Europe, but in Argentina, it's experiencing a population explosion. Still, it's not easy to catch a glimpse of one up close. 70 years ago, the Argentinian government imported 25 Canadian beaver pairs to Tierra del Fuego. The goal was to launch a fur industry, but the plans went awry. The quality of the beaver fur wasn't up to North American standards. And because the animal's natural predators, such as bears and wolves, were absent, the beavers multiplied rapidly. Now, Tierra del Fuego has around 100,000 beavers, and they're endangering the regional virgin forests. Their steady gnawing fells trees, which they use to build houses and dikes, where they normally stay out of sight. But in this area, their predators are non-existent. Local plants and animals are in danger of extinction in these marshes. Around 31,500 hectares of forest have already been destroyed. Last November, the Argentinian government began a pilot project to reduce the local beaver population. The initiative is backed by the Global Environment Facility. Erio Curto, director of the region's wildlife sanctuaries, is in charge of this project. We put out beaver traps that catch and kill them. The traps are imported from Canada. They comply with international norms for this type of animal. That means they die very quickly. On a visit to one of the regions where the beaver reduction project is underway, Curto arrives at a place where the hunters are setting the traps. But he finds beaver tracks, so some of the creatures have escaped. In Ushuaia, the regional capital of Tierra del Fuego, Christopher Anderson, an American ecologist, has been researching the life cycle of the beavers and other invasive animals in the archipelago for four years. He supports the eradication program. In the case of the castor, the problem in the case of the beavers, the main problem is the different environment. If you observe the sub-Antarctic forests here in Patagonia, you see that the beaver is the biggest plague they've dealt with since the last ice age over 10,000 years ago. Organizations such as the Worldwide Fund for Nature also approve of the beaver eradication, saying there's no more effective way to limit their damage to the environment. But Rosana Vélez, who heads a local environmental group, disagrees. We've presented alternative suggestions, such as castrating the male beavers. We've talked to veterinarians about this. It's a simple operation. We could relocate the animals in specially protected areas on both sides of the border and monitor them on a community basis. Meanwhile, the beavers are destroying everything from bridges and ski slopes to trout breeding pools. In an ironic twist, beaver watching tours are being offered under the auspices of ecotourism. Researchers have two years to determine if the beaver eradication project is effective. Then a decision will be made whether to continue it or not. <laughs>